Hey, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks so much for returning. And if this is your first time landing on it, welcome. My name is Ari Papernick. And on my channel, I uh, like to teach uh, one lick or one guitar uh, idea in the country genre uh, per video. Um, so here is the lick for today. <laughs> So this lick is based out of D, and then we're incorporating the C triad into the lick as well. So the C in, in uh, D is the uh, flat seven. So if you've been watching my videos, um, you pretty well have uh, heard this a hundred times. The, that flat seven is in almost every lick. We, we rarely play the, the normal seven. So in a D, um, you know, the normal uh, seven in the scale would be the C sharp, but we're going to be basing it off the C, which is the, the flat seven. So we're going to be basing it off this shape, uh, which is your A shape up at your seventh fret, and then the C triad, which is at the eighth. So you got the, you know, C with a, with a D bass. So we're kind of intertwining those two chords into this lick. Uh, it's sort of a, a Roy Nichols type lick. If you're not familiar with Roy Nichols, he was the guitar player for Merle Haggard. Um, so the, um, the lick... Right? So... we do that lick we're basically just outlining the C triad uh, over the D so let's break this down we're gonna start with a slide from the E on the uh, fifth string up to the F sharp and then we're gonna go to the D string and we're kind of gonna rock back and forth here between these three notes using our index finger our third finger and our pinky okay Uh, the way I'm doing it just to get a little bit more of a country flavor into it to make it more staccato I'm um, I'm gonna be alternating picking now you can alternate you could alternate pick with your flat pick or you could use a, a, a pick and a finger that's what I'm doing okay so that is the first part so the D string is Right? So we're going um, A, uh, B, then back to A, and then C, back to the A. So Then we're going to take our middle finger, and it's important you use your middle finger, not your third, to slide up to the, um, the D. And that's going to get you into that formation of your C chord. So we're going to basically outline the chord by hitting the D, the E, sorry, by hitting the E at the, uh, at the ninth fret on the G string. Then we're going to go up to the C, back through the D, back through the E to the G, outlining that triad of C, E, and G. Okay, so there it is uh, again. Okay, so we've got Okay, and then we just when we get to that G on our index finger We slide we don't pick that one we slide down to the F sharp So we'll start it again Then after we get to the F sharp we kind of work our way back up we hit the E uh, with our third finger to our index on the D. Now I can say D. So then reaching up with our pinky to the C on the D string. And then we slide from the E to the D. So we kind of slide into the E and then to the D. Actually, I don't slide. And we just pick it. Right, so let's try that slowly. Okay, and 
then we go, we do a, we do a similar pattern that we did at the beginning of the lick. But we start with the C. So we go C on the 10th fret to uh, A on the 7th fret to uh, the B on the 9th fret back to the A on the 7th fret. All right? So we've got so far... So we'll do that one more time. So then we finish it off from a slide from the F sharp on the ninth on the fifth string to the G on the tenth. And then we grab with our index finger to our third, um, the A to the B. So and then we grab the D on the seventh fret, and then we resolve. A of the uh, of the ninth, okay. So we're we're ending on the A, which is uh, the, the the fifth of the uh, of the D scale. So it's interesting. We don't resolve on the root. We're resolving on the fifth. So let's just try that last part. Okay. So that's the last part. So let's take that whole lick again slowly. the lick and you know just keep going at it it's, there's a lot of notes so the trick is just remembering it but you gotta just keep repeating it and build up the speed so it's a really kind of cool lick and it just swings you know it's a it's a you gotta swing it so at the beginning of the video to the backing track I did this lick that's even more obvious uh, playing out of the D and using the C triad it went like this Okay, um, so I just incorporated that. So that is uh, really just doing the triads. You pick with your index finger on, on the top note, on the A, and then you just kind of roll through it, right? Good to pick it and using your fingers. So a pick and then two fingers. Do the same thing on the C at the eighth. And then you outline the D. Okay, so you're going up on the uh, on the on the two notes on the G uh, on the B and the G string, the F sharp and the D. Then you reach for the C on the tenth, which is your flat seven. And then you go from your E on your ninth to your D on your seventh. So you got all right. So together. with that one uh, it's a neat lick you throw it in over the over the root chord of the song you're playing or you know the the D in this case um, you know kind of for an older country thing um, a shuffle or something maybe with a country swing beat it'll fit in you know you probably can work it into a straight kind of country rock thing too but I think naturally it'll fit better over a over a swing rhythm anyway that is my lesson 24 uh, if you've been watching the other ones thanks so much if uh, you just stumbled on this one for the first time, um, check out the playlist. I'll put the link below. Uh, there's 24 in total now, uh, so there's lots of stuff to keep you busy. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks so much for uh, sticking around. I'm really having a good time, and I plan to put out a ton more of these lessons. Take care. Bye.